Well, let's get to the last chef of my horror movie collection. First you have Trick or Treat, which is definitely the best Halloween movie ever made. Amazing. Urban Legend. It's a it's a fine movie. I like I like the premise of it. It's it's an okay slasher. And from the same director, Valentine. Which again, I love the premise of Valentine's Day. I think this movie is pretty fun. Some people hate it, but I actually prefer this over my bloody Valentine. Then Vamp, pretty solid vampire movie. I'm a fan of vampires, so this one was enjoyable. This, however, vampires. It's not terrible, but compared to Halloween and the thing, this is Carpenter's. No, nah. This is what Carpenter kind of gets weak. And Video Drum, another Cronenberg. Probably my favorite Cronenberg movie. This one feels uh, a little bit different from the other ones that I have. It's kind of a bigger scale and really interesting idea. WNEF Halloween Special. Another great Halloween film, and this mo this is more than the film. Just this movie is an experience, kind of the way it's done. It's probably my favorite farm footage movie. It's so good. And then the Wolfman movies. This one I haven't seen any of them. Apparently, I think it's the the four of them. Yeah, one day, one day I'll watch them. And here's the original runtime. People hate it. I think it's okay. It, it's a, it's a fun movie. Now I heard. Some say Wrong Turn 2 is better. I think this movie is so cheap and low budget that I kind of don't really enjoy it as much as the first one. Then another Fulci classic, Zombie. Well, I call it Zombie, but this one says Zombie 2, the DVD. But the Blu-ray, it does suggest Zombie without the 2. Probably my second favorite after, after the Beyond. A really fun film from Richard Fulci. This DVD, The Monster Scares the Pyjama Party, this also kind of, the whole disc is an experience as well, so, because well, it has the movie, Monster Scares the Pyjama Party, but then it has another movie, another horror movie, and then there's a, another 3D short, there's a London After Midnight remake, there's a bunch of stuff on here, some commentaries, some trailers, I say this DVD is worth getting, it's really fun to watch. I got some documentaries. This is Halloween 25 Years of Terror. I think it's a fine documentary. The Halloween franchise is my favorite franchise in terms of behind the scenes trivia. So this was very good, very cool to watch. Um, his name was Jason. This wasn't as good because it was very short, but there's so many movies. Um uh, I think I say watch this before you watch the the older movies. Kind of get the idea of what it's all about. More Brains. This one is about the Return of the Living Dead, the first one. But it also has uh, uh, stuff about the sequels as well. And apparently this stuff is not included on the, the Blu-rays of the sequels. Although this documentary is included on the Blu-ray of the first movie. So I, I still think this is still worth keeping. And the two volumes of Video Nessus documentary from Severin. I enjoy these ones. They are pretty interesting. The first disc is uh, documentary itself, but then there are a bunch of trailers as well, so there's 13 hours on this one. But I only seen the documentary themselves. Now, once you've seen the Friday movies, you definitely need to watch Crystal Lake Memories. This one is just goes into big detail about the whole the whole franchise. And it's, I think it's seven hours long. And then Never Sleep Again. Does the same about the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Also really enjoyable and entertaining. So then I have the Anchor Bay Clamshell VHS releases. I have the Halloween one. This one is on two tapes, the limited edition. I kind of like the simple design of it. So here's another version of Night of the Living Dead. And this is the, the re-edited one. Not the original. Then here's just one tape edition of Halloween. And here's the theatrical cut of Dawn of the Dead. Which is my preferred version. But then they also released... Well it says director's cut, but it's actually... 
The director's cut Romero set is the theatrical one. So this is basically just an extended cut, and I think it's not as good, kind of boring, but the theatrical one is amazing. Hell Knight. I mentioned, mentioned this movie before. The Evil Dead, the first one. And he's there to that. So he's the second Evil Dead. Like this poster, I think it's pretty cool, very simple, with the skull. This is the theatrical cut of Army of Darkness, but then there was also the director's cut of Army of Darkness, and I love this poster, it's so good. The artwork is amazing here. Well, that's the end of my last shelf of my horror movie collection.